after I sent my Seiko watch to get refurbished, I started reading up on watches and I started to develop an interest and actually an interest specifically in military watches. So I thought I'd show you the first military watch I've ever bought. And um, rather than look at my dial, let's look at this dial. This is a G10 watch. The G10 comes from the name of the form that they have to fill out in order to be issued with the watch. It's um, made by the Cabot Watch Company, CWC, which you can see there, just up at the top. Underneath is a, a circle with a T in it, which stands for tritium. So it's a radioactive loom, but uh, the um, radioactivity met its half-life a long time ago and it doesn't really glow all that much. And of course it's a quartz. Quartz came into these uh, watches around the 1980s, quartz being supposedly more accurate for military use. Dimension-wise, the lug distance is 19 millimetres. However, the um, most of the wristbands are only 18 millimetres, but you can't really tell once the wristband's on it. It's 42 from lug to lug, and from the outside of the um, crown to the edge of the watch is actually 38 millimetres. So it's not a big watch, but uh, I have an advantage when it comes to small watches. I have a skinny little wrist. Let's have a look at what's on the back of it. Okay, it's a quartz watch, and in order to um, change the battery on the fly and make it easier for soldiers, sailors and airmen, the battery actually goes in here, and it's a coin. You can, what I should say, you can use a coin to open the slot and put a new battery in. Nice, quick and easy. The markings on the back, that's the broad arrow, or crow's foot it's also known as, and the serial number here, 0552, that signifies that it's uh, been issued to the Royal Navy, or it's for issued to the Royal Navy. 66 stands for scientific instrument, 45 just means it's a timekeeping device, and the 99 there signifies the United Kingdom amongst uh, the uh, NATO countries. 5415317 is the serial number of the watch. Sounds a bit weird, but all watches or G10 watches are, that they're known as have this serial number. And that's the serial number of this specific watch. And it was made in 1988, however, it doesn't mean that it was issued in 1988, but that's a best guess and we'll say it was issued in 1988. What I should mention is that the spring bars are fixed. They don't spring, they're fixed to the watch and a NATO watch band, or I think what they call a Zulu, which is a single pass NATO, are the only kinds of watch bands that you can fit to these military watches. The idea is that they're no, they don't spring off and you don't lose your watch. The watch itself was in extremely good condition when I got it and it didn't show very much wear at all. However, a couple of nights ago, unfortunately, I dropped it and I just cracked the glass just a little bit there. It's, of course, mineral crystal, which is specified for most military watches. Um, so she took a bit of a hit and I'm really unhappy about that but anyway it's fairly easy to get new glass for these so I expect that um, I'll hunt up some new glass and we'll change that sometime in the future. I guess what I need is the mandatory wrist shot. This is it on my bony six and a half inch wrist. I feel more comfortable with smaller watches and uh, this one just suits me to a T. You know, I shouldn't complain about that little tiny crack in the glass because if I'm not wearing my glasses, I can't see it. Anyway, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching.